Exterminate that! That's all he's on about. Oh, give him exterminate right up where the suns don't shine! I mean, really, who put him in charge anyway? I don't remember electing him, Chief. He wasn't elected, Jerry. He just took over. Not even so much as a by your leave. And all because that nice Mr. Johnson had his head ripped off by that nasty surgeon. Surgeon? He didn't seem like a surgeon to me. More like a veterinarian, if you ask me. Well, he certainly slipped Mr. Johnson up like a side of beef, that's for certain. So, you're saying Mr. Johnson was butchered? Oh, that's a lovely thought, isn't it? What with us about to go on another conquest and all? Conquest by shiny blue eye stock. If Mr. Russell conquests anything other than his fear, we'd really rule the universe. What's that supposed to mean, eh? Haven't you noticed, love? Every time we get close to taking over the universe, Mr. Russell goes hide in the WC until it's all over. Perhaps he's just sneaking a fag. It's bloody awful since they've stopped allowing smoking in the air. None of that, dearie. I have a good authority from Mrs. Truffle that he's puking his idiots out right through his blaster tube. And how would Mrs. Truffle know, then? She heard it from her wrong, she did. As if you could believe anything he said, stupid layabout kid. Ah, oh, he's all right. I've heard that he's been seeking alternate deploy lately. Really? What a has? Not sure, really. Oh, look, there's Mrs. Truffle now. Let's call her over and ask. Yoo-hoo! Mrs. Truffle, over here, dearie! Hello, Mrs. Nougat. Hello, Mrs. Cream Center. How are things on this end of the spaceship, eh? Oh, same old thing, love. It's a good thing that we don't need air, because the ship leaks like a sieve. Really? Oh, yes, cosmic dust everywhere. And we're always left cleaning up. You think they'd hire one of the enslaved races to tidy after us, eh? I mean, what's the point of being the superior beings if we can't get proper mage in us? It just boggles the mind. Yes, yes, but actually, Mrs. Truffle, we need you to answer a question for us. Course, loves. Anything for you? We've heard that your mom's been seeking some kind of alternate employ lately. Oh, he's not thinking of becoming a rat exterminator, is he? If only it was that simple, loves. Our Reg is bound to determine to embarrass us. Why? What's he want to be, then? A florist. No, he has gone off the deep end, hasn't he? Don't I know it? You're sure he hasn't been having too much fun with that half-big lot down in engineering? He's been doing something funny, and that's a fact. Says he wants to bring beauty into the world. Can you imagine that? Might as well do a dance to spring. It's not like we can do that either. Huh? I mean, how are we supposed to go over and under with the ribbons when we can't even duck? We're far better off blowing the maple to smithereens, that's what I say. Exactly my point. Where's he going to get a wooden support unit anyway? What? What's he all about, love? He's going to have to have a wooden support unit, isn't he? I mean... How can he be a forest if he's not out of wood? No, no, no! Florist! Not forest! You know, love! Flowers! Not trees! Oh, well, that's all right, then. No, it isn't! Still makes our run a freak! I suppose you're right. Come on, come on, come on! We're going to be late! They're not going to let us on the ship if we're not there on time! I'm hungry! Yes, 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 I know there'll be datums to snack on once we're on the ship, but we've got to hurry! I want nuggets and the french fries! But you're glad those days are behind you, eh, love? No! Then at least I wouldn't have to face having a florist in the family! I think it's lovely your Ron wants to work with flowers. How am I going to live it down? Well, it's not so bad, eh? At least your Ron's got Mr. Russell by the atomic gonads. The powers that be get funny with his preferences, and he can bring down the entire government. Ooh, I never thought of it like that. That's right, dearie. You have to look at the positive. 
But it's not like my Uncle Nigel. Oh, not the Uncle Nigel stories again. He's not the one who thinks he's a doorpost, is he? No, that was last month. He's gone beyond that now. Flower pots? You've got flowers on the brain, you have. Not a bit of it. I was just thinking, that's all. If your Uncle Nigel was a flower pot, right? And he got together with my Ron the florist, well, that'd take care of two problems, wouldn't it? Uh, if only it were that simple. Speaking of problems, here comes your Uncle Nigel now. Oh, oh no, don't let him see me. I can't stand his current delusion. I'm Art Little Teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Take me over and pour me out! He is a lewd, isn't he? And I thought I had it bad! See what I mean? A complete embarrassment. All aboard, who is going aboard? Five minutes until blast off. Join us or be exterminated. Exterminated! Oh, there's all signal, loves. Don't I know it? Well, we best get along, eh? No sense in being late for our own invasion. Come on, girls, let's roll it. Hang on, loves. Wait for me. Yeah. <laughs>